right starting off let's set up the inputs so right click go to input input action and call this ia underscore move open it up in this value type set this to a axis 1d right there hit save close out of this and right click again go back to inputs right here in the menu and add an input mapping context call this imc underscore character input or whatever you prefer go ahead and open this up and on the mappings click to add a mapping you might have to drop it down with the little arrow right there starting off it's set to none but we want to set input to our input action move like that and we want to use two keys for this so click the plus right here to add another key and up here on the first key you want to set this click the little keyboard and hit d and then on the second key hit the little keyboard and hit a you can also do the joysticks if you want it's again up to you and on the a key we want to add a modifier and set this to a negate right here and we want to add triggers to both of these so add a trigger to this and do down and then add a trigger to this and do down as well then we can save this and completely close out of this as well. Alright, so I have a little texture sheet right here of my sprites. This is just a little character I created for a project I'm working on. But for now, if you don't have a character, just any sprite will do, basically. Just as a placeholder. But I'm going to go ahead and extract these sprites real quick. And then I have them all extracted. I'm not going to worry about animation in this video, if you would like video to set up animation on your character on your 2d character then let me know in the comments and i can gladly do that as well there's a plugin you can download called paper zd and it makes 2d a lot easier in unreal but as of now i'm just going to use this little sprite right here so now right click and we want to actually create a character now so go to blueprint class and then search for character and you want to make a paper character right here. Select. And just name this BP underscore my character or whatever you would like. And then simply open this up. The sprite. I'm going to go ahead and set this to my sprite. Or actually I got to create a flipbook real quick. So let me file, save all. And then asset. Or it's up here at the top. And I'm just going to call this flipbook underscore character. And then go back to the character. And then the source flipbook, I'm going to put it as the character. And then I'm going to scale him up a little bit. Something about like there. Make sure his feet don't clip the bot through the bottom of the floor. And then I'm going to drag him forward just a little bit so he's centered. You could as well adjust the capsule component right here. Capsule radius. Make it a little bit wider to fit your character a little better. Something about like that. And then I'm going to compile and save once again. And now we can head to the event graph and add the movement. Alright, so inside the event graph, go ahead and right click under event begin play. And do get player controller. And then drag off of this. And do get enhanced input local player subsystem right here. And then this should always be valid, basically. But just in case, you could add it is valid just to make sure it's valid. And then drag over this again and do add mapping context. Just like this. And then connect this off of is valid. And the mapping context is our IMC character input right there. So now come down here to an empty space, right click and search for the input action we created. So input action underscore move. And then off of triggered, do a add movement input, just like this. And then set the world direction to one and the scale value. Plug this in. Or well, the world direction depends on what plane you're gonna be on. So like for instance, it's a 3D world. So if I select an object and I look at this, I can have the 2D be the X left and right and the Z up. 
which for 2D side scrollers that's typically what you want so that you can jump but say you're making like a top down 2D game then you could probably use the X and Y like this so that you can more freely walk around without having to jump or well essentially you lose the ability to jump but you can like walk around more freely if that makes sense but for this it's just going to be a on the side thing so I'm going to use the X for the left and right and the Z up you could do Y as well if you want to work this way it's just personal preference but I'm going to use the X so I'm going to go back into the blueprint and make sure this world direction is set to 1 on the X. Alright, so now some animations have animations for facing right and left. But my character is always facing right. So we got to set up handling the uh, flipping of the character whenever you go the other way. So right click and add a custom event. Add custom event. And simply call this update character rotation and then off of the tick right here just call it update character rotation like that and then on this we are going to compare the movement components velocity so drag out the movement component and then search for velocity and it's right here get velocity and then we're going to split this because our character can really only move. Or besides jumping, he can only move on the X. So then off of the X, we're going to compare float. And compare float is just a simple way of not having to do two branches. We can just do it all in one with a uh, macro. So then connect this to the executable. So now this is where we need to update the actual rotation. So drag in your sprite component. And then off the sprite, do a set relative rotation. And then the top one needs to be 180, I believe. I may have to change these in a minute if they're wrong. But I believe that needs to be 180. And then do another one, set relative rotation. And then this one needs to remain 0 on the Z. And we want to compare with zero. So now there's just two more things we have to do. We have to add a spring arm component and a camera component. So on the capsule right here, just click it and then hit add spring arm right there. And then on your spring arm, you want to add component and add a camera right there. And then the spring arm, we want to rotate this so it faces our character like so. And then the target arm length, this is customizable. But I'm just going to do something like maybe 500. And then compile and save. Alright, and so now once you have your camera set up, then you can minimize this. Right click in your content browser, blueprint class, and search for game, or it's actually right here. Game mode base. I'm going to call this BP play mode and then open this up and basically over here you just set your default pawn class to your BP by character compile and save this and then over here in the world settings I'm just going to set this to a BP play mode and you can set this default in the project settings but just for simplicity I'm setting it I'm just overriding it right here so now if I press play and we move the character, as you can see, I move left and right. But as expected, I got these flipped backwards. So let me go back into the character real quick. Go into here. Set this one to 0. And then set this one to 180. Compile and save. And now if we play this real quick, and as you can see, I can move left and right. And if I move right, the character flips. I move left, the character flips. I can't jump or anything, but this is a basic setup of how you can make a 2D side-scroller character in Unreal Engine 5. So yeah, again, let me know if you want to see more videos in 2D, and I can cover Paper ZD, which again is an add-on that, that basically gives you the whole animation graph before sprites and stuff. It makes animations and whatnot super easy. 
And so this is just a basic 2D character. If you want to see more 2D content, then just let me know. And so yeah, if you enjoyed or found it useful, then leave a like, subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.